what we're going to do today is we're going to build a, a, a frame, a structure, so we can put a, a shade tarp over our, our plants. It gets really hot here in North Texas, and you can see already our plants are starting to burn a little bit. We've got those posts, and I left them taller. And what we're going to do is we're going to dig holes, which I've already started digging. And these holes, we're going to put more posts in, and we'll be able to run a piece of wood going all the way across to each one of those posts in order to run our shade tarp across. So that's what we're doing uh, in this video. So what we're going to do first, so once we get our hole in, I'm actually going to use our fence because our fence posts are already cemented in as well. And that's going to give us our, uh, our support back and forth once we get the concrete in. We're going to take one of these, uh, these fence uh, rings, we're going to actually bolt it on there and put our pole through into the hole and then we'll cement the post into the ground. We just got it on loose right now. We have the post inside of it. So all we're going to do right now is just put the post holder on to the fence. Then we're going to go ahead and level it. The reason we left this loose, we didn't tighten this bolt, is so that we can uh, move the post around so that it's level and we can move it a little bit if we need to. And we just work around the post. So what we're going to do now is we've got our poles set. Um, we'll put the, the cement in later. But in order to get our poles in a good straight line so that when we put our wooden beams across there that they look right, we're going to tie a string low down to both poles and then um, we'll know where to dig our hole. And we measured the distance equal between the two posts. We got the holes filled with dirt. Now Scott's going through and putting the brackets on that will hold the boards going across. What we're doing is just taking a beam and going across in both directions. Um, there's a level on top so that we can make sure our brackets are level before we start screwing all the boards in. These are the brackets that are going to hold the wood that's going to go across to help square it up and provide some extra stability. Okay, we've got all of our beams going long ways and crosswise for the extra support. Scott's gone through and tightened everything down. Now we're going to cut the poles, put the caps on top. The reason you want to do that is to prevent them from rusting from the inside out as rain would collect in them. Now we're going to drill a hole through the middle section that we do have marked and through that hole we're going to run some electrical conduit. That conduit's going to prevent any sagging. Okay, this is going to be part of the installation of the uh, conduit. We're going to put these couplings on there and then we're going to take it over to the uh, beams and uh, cut it to fit through the center. Okay, we're going to slide our conduit through until our coupling hits on the other side. Now we're going to just mark the center of our coupling with the uh, EMT pushed bottomed out on the other side. Take it back out and we're going to, and we're going to cut it where I made my mark. We're going to use a, a pipe cutter. This is one that is designed for electrical conduit. Okay, now that we got these cut, we're going to put it through, come to the other side, and then this will go on here, and we'll tighten that up. That's going to prevent our uh, conduit from sliding back and forth when we bring it through the outside holes and secure it into there. Okay, so we got the frame built, and uh, next part of this job is going to be to uh, put the shade block on top. 
to protect our plants. I just wanted to get an overview of uh, how the framework looks before the shade block goes on. This is the fabric we're using to put up over the frame we built. It's a special sunblock fabric. It's just a tight um, woven mesh. It's made out of recycled plastic. It's going to block out the UV rays, protect the plants, um, still allow the rain to come through and enough light to nourish the plants. Okay, we've got the solar shade fabric secured in the middle and at the other end we're doing this last end and the way we're securing it is with uh, staples. The sun blocking mesh has been placed over all the boards. We've secured it down and now we're going to put the final staples in this section down here. That's all there is to building a sunshade. Obviously the dimensions and stuff will be different based on your garden, but overall it's a really simple project to do and it is going to extend the growing season of your vegetables and protect your plants.